this is a quick video just to show you how you can flash this bear ESP8266 Type 07 or 12E with Tasmata firmware. It also can be used to upload code from Arduino IDE. What you need besides of course a ESP8266 is a FTDI adapter that allows you to connect TTL or serial interface device to USB. You will also need a 10K resistor, wires and soldering iron. You can start soldering and connect VCC 3.3V and ground to FTDI. Make sure that your FTDI provides 3.3V. Then connect the pin RX from ESP to TX on FTDI and also TX from ESP to RX in FTDI, as shown in the figure. The pin N that stands for Enable must be also connected to VCC 3.3V. Then you need to connect GPIO0 to ground. This pin, when connected to ground on boot, tells the ESP to enter on flash mode that we want for flash Tasmata firmware. PIO15 must also be connected to ground using the pull down resistor of 10K, like here in the schematic. This is everything that you need. Then start the Tasmotizer tool, select the release.bin file, the latest one, connect the FTDI to your computer USB port and start flashing it. After completing the flashing process, remember to disconnect the GPIO0 from ground and then power cycle again your ESP. You can do it disconnecting and connecting again the FTDI USB cable. Check your Wi-Fi networks and you should see the Tasmota access point enabled. Connect to it and provide your Wi-Fi credentials and save. Your ESP will reboot. Using the Tasmotizer or by access in your router, you should find the IP that your Tasmota is serving as a web server. Easy, right? Now you can start any project connecting sensors and other external components to your Tasmota. See you in the next video, where I will show you how to use the Tasmota Deep Sleep function that allows you to connect your ESP with a battery bank. See you there! Thanks for watching!